This is the come up show where that feel good music lives. Real recognize real. Real recognize real. That's what it is. I'm sitting down with the kid famous. We are at Woodstock, the Juliana uh, bar and nightclub. And you know, we're just having a good time. What, is, what kind of car is that? That's a Mercedes uh, Coupe. Ooh, nice. SL500. That's a SL500, the Mercedes. And he raps now. So don't hate him because he rhymes different. <laughs> yo, those shirts are big, eh? Like uh, the, the rap yeah. route t-shirt. Well, yo, right yeah. now I'm actually yeah. working on my own creations, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, me, Curtis James, he's he's a great designer from Toronto. Mm-hmm. Dream Design, great. Mm-hmm. Another dude, check him out. Um, just Yo, just Google him there. Real heavy, Curtis James, Dream Design. We're working on our own stuff. Like, you see that, that top right there? Mm-hmm. That's from them. They did some stuff for me for the Junos. Everything, actually, that I wore in the Junos. Um, they did, you know. I came up with the ideas. They made they, they made it come to life. And uh, yo, uh, what position? Can you tell me uh, Rez's position? Like, um, I'm guessing you guys met up when you were interning. Like, what is his yeah, position, yeah, yeah. and how did the guys actually, come about? Man? We we came yeah. about because when I was interning, he was actually getting paid. Okay. Right. So um, he was kind of like my mentor on the streets, you know. Mm-hmm. And then what happened was he got promoted, mm-hmm. and I took his spot. Cool. So then I started getting paid, right? Yeah. And then he had OTA, and you know, I've, I've always like wanted to have a part of like anything, you know, just coming up. I always had that an idea of a segment, 60 seconds, I always had stuff to get off my chest. So, mm-hmm. you know, we put that into syndication. So it's on OTA, it's on a couple other stations, but in like Dubai and Jordan and stuff. But, um,. And yeah, Rez, it's kind of like Famous is the project, mm-hmm. and then there's Ashton, who's me, mm-hmm. and um, Rez, who are like mm-hmm. in charge of it. Make sure you check out this interview too, it will be uh, available online, I'm, I'm pretty sure, on uh, irapnow.com, is that, is that cool? Oh yeah, yeah, oh right now, you like this stuff, everybody knows I record everything, so um... This right here is, is just, you can find this probably at thekidfamous.com mm-hmm. or irapnow.com. Okay. And it will also be available at thecomeupshow.com yeah. and uh, the Facebook group and, and everything like that. Um, there, there's, that's a music video, I'm pretty sure. What's, what song is this? Is it a song that's been on the 5 uh, EP? The EP? Or what? B, I released five, five videos mm-hmm. in one year. Mm-hmm. I only had five songs out. So... <laughs> It's obviously some new stuff, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a lot of those videos you saw were like old. Like Ain't No Use, which was the third video to come out, was the first one that I shot. Um, the first one that I shot two years before it came out. Mm-hmm. That was Factor. I mean, Video Fact. And we got the grant for that. And I didn't even have a song anywhere. Like Fourth Biggest City wasn't even written. Mm-hmm. So like just the business behind that, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And how we how we presented it. It really means a lot how you present stuff. So how, how do you find the Canadian music industry right now? The, like you said, fact that we have all these resources are the is, the, is obviously a, bes- a blessing compared to the American because I don't think they have that at all. Yo, it's the craziest blessing in the world, man. Like I said in Fourth Biggest City, they gotta play your stuff 35 percent of the time. Mm-hmm. Um, the government gives you up to forty thousand for videos. They give you up to like fifty thousand for marketing and promotion. Another, like they have Dade Law, they have um, grants for like um, communities who want to build something. Yo, the amount of grants that Canada has Mm -hmm. is crazy, people. Crazy. People would die for this, man. You know what I mean? People would die for this. But it is just about how you like go about it. You know, present it properly. I mean, the odds in general for urban and hip hop are a lot slimmer just because that's what the market is. But um, there's still a need for it, I guess, you know, because, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm good. I've, I've, I think I've applied for like five and got one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's crazy because I got the one when I had nothing else, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But like it didn't stop me, is what I'm saying. A lot of artists, and I know probably everybody's seen it, they hear a song and then you don't hear from them for a year. Or they put out a song, they didn't get the grant, and you don't see no video. Like, yo, I grinded. I found a team. People who are hungry out there. Who do a great job, you know what I mean? So when the minds meet, you just put a product out, like, and we just went and we guerrilla styled a lot of those videos, mm-hmm. and they got spins on much, and you know, it created my fan base. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you a question like that, man. When you're starting a, a movement like that, and uh, you know, you're basically at the bottom, and nobody knows of you yet, how do you find people? Uh, 
Is it strictly family, cousins, or how do you find people out there that are willing to work for you for free and push and work hard for you, man? How do I what? How do you find people like that? Where people that I are down? I don't yeah. find them. They definitely all come to me. Really? Yeah, and it's crazy, but I think it's because of the, like we said, the energy that I put out, mm -hmm. right? And like I try to look out for people. Like, you know, nobody really put me where I am, but a lot of people open doors. You know, they, they would say, that's the promoter you got to talk to, you know? But I would have to handle it. Or they would introduce me and walk away and I would have to handle it. You know what I mean? So I always did my part. Always. Always. That's hype, man. Is there anything else that you wanted to say to London, Ontario, the world that's Yo, listening? Yo, London, about? Ontario, you got to check out thekidfamous.com, youtube.com, slash thekidfamous, TV, um, twitter.com, thekidfamous, irapnow.com, fourthbiggestcity.com, my Facebook is famous, my um, messenger is the kid famous at hotmail.com and I answer each and every one of them. I got like three phones and I make sure everybody gets answered. If you hit me up, it may take some time. If you just ask me crazy stuff like, how's your day been? I wish I could answer that, but like <laughs> to type that, I hate typing, you know what I mean? So if you want to get at me as far as business inquiries, you could definitely get at me on the MySpace anywhere. And if you just want to like chat and Ladies, you could you could poke me as much as you want. I'm cool with the Facebook poke, and um, that's what it is, man. Just find me. It's famous, man. Everybody knows me. Yeah, I had a question. You use every promotion opportunity. And I do as well. I haven't signed up for Twitter yet because I think it's the same thing as Facebook status. So what do you man. what do you think about Twitter? Because I haven't. I, I'm not a follower. I don't do things because people are doing it and it's popular. I think Twitter is the same thing as Facebook status. But if you prove me wrong, I might get a profile. Here's Let's see. Let's see. I, no, I'm gonna tell you exactly. Okay. Well. Okay. I see everything as from a business standpoint, right? Mm -hmm. Totally from a business standpoint. Okay. I was totally against Twitter. Like, why would I do that? Why would I let somebody know where I am all the time, right? Why do I want somebody following me, right? Mm -hmm. Now, in a sense, it's good for fans if you put something out and I'm in their area, mm -hmm. right? But I was still like, no, I don't care for it. Like, I'm not going to be updating this all the time. Mm -hmm. And then I was watching, no, I was listening to this Britney Spears promotion. And what they were saying was they're going to have tickets for her concert downtown and they're going to be Twittering where they are. And the first person to say the code or whatever gets the tickets. So then I was like, you know what I mean? At some point, it may not make sense now, but MySpace probably didn't make sense to people when it started. So I think I just jumped on it because it's just something that in the long run, it could really be used as a good promotional tool. So I'm just like, that. that's really what I believe in. And sometimes I try it out and I think it does help in a certain way. It's not like, you gotta think about it. It's not like I really have to say where I am. Like I have to tell the truth. I can say anything, right? So if I'm gonna put something out, there's gonna be a point to it. Yeah, so that, that's what I think about Twitter. Like, you know, I don't follow nobody. People are telling me that, you know, if I follow people, you could see more things that are going on. But like, nah, man. Like, no, nah, I'm not looking at my phone for that. You don't have enough time to follow all yeah. the people. You're doing yeah. your own life. You're you creating your own movie. Guys, between like those people with BlackBerry messengers, yeah. and then they have text, and then email, and then they're checking their Facebook, and out on Twitter. Like, look up. Nobody looks up no more. Everybody's looking down, B. Yo, you know, that's, I, I noticed that, man, because but I see like people in the club, they're just staring at the Black Perry the whole time. They have a headphone. Kind of, what's going on, man? Like, yo, me, the thing is, I'm not even going to front. Like I said, I got like three phones, right? Mm -hmm. But I really try to just keep it proper. Like, there's certain times when I do it, and there's certain times where I just handle certain things. Like, if I'm in a club, like, usually I'm probably on a mic. So, like, I won't hold my phone. But when I come back, I'll check it out and that's it. Like, nobody nobody should be trying to get at me. De like, you don't have my number unless, you know, you're really trying to get at me. Right? Mm -hmm. So, like, people are always on their phones. But some people, it's like, like I said, when I'm not doing anything, I'm on it. Because it keeps me in tune with a lot of people out there. Right? People who get at me. Like, I'm just quick accessible. Yeah, that's what it is, man. Shut up, thanks for having me. No problem, that's the come up show where that feel good music lives. Real recognized, real. Yeah. That's what it is, that's the kid famous yeah. right there. The kid famous. Make sure to check out more interviews at the come up show.